Hey coaches, welcome back to another episode of Make Money Coaching Sports. I'm Coach Jim Swift of Sports Performance Training. Today's topic is going to be why I chose to be a sports performance coach. Uh, and I'm also going to tie in why I still choose to be a sports performance coach. I think that's uh, very important since I am now uh, 10 total years into being a trainer and seven years, uh, actually I just started year eight, uh, running my own business with performance training. Um, so when I first got into uh, wanting to be a sports performance coach, it was because I was had, in college, I was in a very big fitness kick. I wanted to know all of it about um, nutrition uh, for uh, those who are in the fitness side, sports performance, the common denominators. I wanted to learn about strength. I want to learn about speed. I want to learn about anything that can not only make me better uh, from a health aspect, but also perform better in the gym, uh, perform better if I decide to go do a pickup basketball, pickup football game, uh, later on run around my own future kids. Um, but also when I played sports, um, there was always guys that I looked back and I'm like, man, that was some terrible strength conditioning programs we did in high school. But why were we so successful? And some of it came down to, you know, there was some strength science uh, but there's a lot that was outdated, and I know that it would, in order to help more kids, you got to find something that's more than just about hard work, hard work, hard work every day. Um, what kind of things can you change up within your program um, as a strength coach to help more kids at once than just uh, genetically gifted hard workers, okay? And even if you do have uh, everybody who is genetically gifted and hard workers, are you setting them up for long-term success? Are you going to fall short to a team that is um, genetically gifted also, hard workers, but training even smarter? I wanted to make sure that that gap was as narrow as possible for the athletes that I helped. Um, so that made me really fond, not because I was trying to like wish I could go back and play sports again, be better, but so I could give the confidence to another uh, boy or girl uh, athlete I was training to know that no matter how good you are, if you're struggling to get better, everybody else is increasing, we have the solution to get you better. I have the solution to get you better. Uh, you just got to trust me. We do got to put in the work. Uh, but, you know, we have enough science and understanding in our coaching now to where I can make sure that uh, what happened to me and several of my teammates and our whole team uh, in the regular season, the playoffs, individuals, uh, you know, doesn't happen to them if it doesn't have to, okay? Uh, make sure I give them the best uh, potential to succeed uh, and reduce injuries and just feel better uh, after uh, training, okay? Not have to feel beat up all the time uh, like we did in football a lot and like a lot of uh, athletes in different sports do now because that's the culture, right? So that's why I got into it. Um, I was a uh, I was a nutrition and fitness, uh, strength science uh, junkie, and that's all I want to do. And plus, I uh, didn't want to continue being a finance major in college because I hated sitting down. So I knew if I didn't want to sit down for long, then uh, being a sports performance coach was it. Okay. Uh, why do I still decide every single day I wake up to be a sports performance coach? One, I still love it for myself. Uh, also, I learn and relearn something new like every three to six months that I want somebody else to know. Um, so I'm always wanting to teach people other things through training, through nutrition coaching. Uh, and I get that teaching side of me because my parents uh, taught in the public schools for a total of 65 years. I never wanted to be a teacher in the schools because, you know, it's uh, – very busy, overworked, um, you know, everything has kind of changed. We won't get into that, but it wasn't something that I wanted to do, but I did want to teach others, adults and, uh, you know, athletes around my area, my community um, through my own way, through what I was passionate at. And that's how I really stay engaged was Force Horns coaching. And then you add in everything for me running a successful business, uh, what does it take to be successful? What does it take to help you guys listening here to be successful? Um, everything to be successful as a strength conditioning coach, as a business of strength conditioning, be a more successful um, parent, spouse, uh, become good at anything over a long period of time. I really love teaching that stuff because 
I feel like those common denominators, we've always used sports to teach life lessons and get people through uh, harsh times. I feel like that's another add-on that I can provide. Uh, and I love providing it because uh, there's a lot of confusion, a lot of noise out there. You coaches know it. Uh, people come to you confused over so much information, uh, but then you simplify it. You show them how easy it can be with the right kind of coaching and guidance. And once again, hard work, consistency, and then I like showing them how they can apply that to other areas of their life. So that's why I chose to be a strength conditioning coach. And that's why I still choose to be a strength conditioning coach. My wife has asked me, okay, you're, I turned 30, uh, January 11th. I'm turning 34 in 12 days. When are you going to retire? When does a personal trainer, a private strength coach retire? I honestly have no idea when that is. Because as many of you know, whether you've worked in the private side, you've been a college athlete, uh, you've been a high school athlete, you have worked in either one of those, you know that we kind of do it till we're like 70, all right? As long as the body can keep going, and if you love coaching, and you can get up every day and do it, you're going to keep doing it till you're almost 70, okay? Um, I'm not saying I'm going to be working 40, 50 sessions a week when I'm that age, but I do want to be around it, and I, and I told her, like, I love it so much that it's going to take either a big physical disability, like my kneecaps are shot, my back is torn up, uh, you got to cut a foot off, um, or just a really better opportunity for me and my family to where I want to step away from this, okay? So, as of right now, all the reasons why I still choose to do what I do is definitely going to overpower uh, why or when I would actually walk away from uh, ever doing training sessions. Even 10 hours a week, I told her, after a certain time. If I, had this, uh, I do online nutrition coaching. I give online workouts. I was like, even if that is making me a million dollars a year, I would still want to get out of the house and do um, sports performance coaching uh, with uh, athletes in my area because I love it. It's my way of teaching them. I can kind of give back to my community every single day. I get paid to do that. Um, sports and fitness was and still is a big part of my life and I have learned a lot of life lessons that helped me in business uh, succeed, helped you guys succeed and all the other coaches that make money coaching sports uh, will agree to that. So I'm going to keep doing it for as long as I can because everything I listed, that's what I love doing, okay? So always remember your passions and your why with this, okay? Not just why you like to work out, why you like to eat healthier, uh, for your own health and performance, but always understand why you chose to do something and why you choose to do something every single day to be successful. A lot of y'all listening to here have invested in our mentorship program because you don't just want to make more money. I mean, that's great. We all want to make more money, but you want to keep this ship sailing, okay? Because you absolutely love what you do and every single day you remember uh, the big why and what you do. And you can help everybody else remember their why so they can succeed. So take uh, a little time to remember that. Write that down. Have it anywhere in your bathroom, in your car, every day, in your office. And we'll talk to you next time. And if you haven't signed up, give us a DM. Uh, you can actually email me at makemoneycoachingathletes at gmail.com. Or you know what? Go ahead and text me at 210-414-3077. If you're not signed up in the membership, be happy to take a free uh, 15 to 20 minute phone call where I can talk to you about your business, things you're dealing with uh, that um, are just bringing it down or things that have been going awesome. I can give you some free pointers and we can work from there. Okay. Take care.